Welcome back to the EdTech Throwdown. In today's video, I'm going to go over Google Notebook. This is one of Google's newest tools. Check it out. All right, so in order to access Notebook by Google, you're going to go to notebooklm.google.com. It's going to bring you to this dashboard. It is an experimental uh, technology, so if you're using your school account, uh, some of your tech admin probably has experimental turned off and you're probably blocked from this. But if they don't want to turn it on, which I don't blame them, you can go to your personal account, which is what I'm doing right now, and I can access it fine. So here's a little intro to what Notebook LM is. Down here are some example notebooks. I'm going to go ahead and create one with you real quick to do that. You hit the plus on new notebook. I'm going to call this World War II. I like the brevity of WW2, so there we go. Hit save. Over here, we could add resources. Resources are anything from your Google Drive. You could copy and paste text, or you could use PDFs. And then here are where your notes are going to go. How do you get a note, you might add? Well, you asked a question. And the whole thing about this is it's going to use AI for the question that you ask. It's going to pull answers from the resources that you provide and that's going to turn into notes. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to add two PDFs real quick. There's the first one. Here's the second one. Uh, it's just as easy to add copied text or from your drive. So uh, I'm not going to show you those. But here are two PDFs, which I already vetted from the History Channel. Uh, I used uh, print-friendly PDF to clean them up so all the pictures and stuff are out of them because I don't really need the pictures for this. And now I'm going to type in a question. All right, so what are some causes of World War II? You go ahead and you hit enter. Usually it takes somewhere between 15 and 30 seconds to pull up. It's going through the resources that are over here. Once it does that, it's going to give you a bulleted outline of the answer to that question. Down here, you can see that it's going through two resources. And it's also, once this gets kicked out, it's going to also give you some uh, suggestions as to other questions that you can uh, ask or things that you might want to know. So here it gave uh, five different uh, causes of World War II. And it says that there are numerous, but these are some of the main ones. Uh, what I love about this is that if you're a teacher, you could easily copy and paste all this, put it into a presentation, now you have your presentation. Or you could put it into a claims evidence reasoning worksheet, and now you have your background or your, your story there, and now they're going to have to go through it and uh, say what the claim is, provide uh, evidence, and you know go through the reasoning behind that. Uh, another thing I really like here is that if you go to citations, there are 10 things that they pulled from these two resources. You could go click on whatever you want. I'm going to go to five here. It's going to take you to histories.com World War II article, and it's going to show you exactly where it pulled the information from. So that is pretty cool. Uh, it gives you a little summary right there as well. And now you have yourself a note. All right, you could take this note, we could add a new note, uh, we could click on some of the other follow-up questions that it might ask you. As students, it's very important that we communicate with them and we say what our expectations are because each teacher is going to be different as to how they think AI should be used in the classroom. So I urge you to talk with your students, communicate what acceptable uses are, for the project that you're working on and each project might be different and uh, this is one of the uses cases of this that i saw recently is uh, there was a teacher uh, we were running up against the end of quarter two and they really wanted to give them time to do a research paper the first crack at a research paper so what they said is uh, i'm going to give you five articles and i'm going to allow you to use this uh, tool the notebook and what you're going to have to do is come up with a thesis statement and you can get all the notes and stuff that you want from the notebook, but you can't copy and paste anything from the notes. You have to put it in your own words, you have to do your internal citations and your regular citations. So 
they shortened down the length of time it would take for them to write the research paper by helping them get their organized uh, research done quicker. And they made them live within the five or seven resources which they vetted and provided already. So that shortened that all down and it was good. It was good for the teacher, it was good for the students. Now at the end of the fourth quarter, they're gonna have to do one where she may or may not allow them to use notebook uh, as part of the process. But clear communication gives you those guidelines. Uh, you know, most of the students stay within those guidelines and everything's all good. So it's a proper way of using AI in the classroom. Give uh, Google Notebook a shot. If you like today's content, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit like, and also go over to our website for more content like this. It's the edtechthrowdown.com. Check out the link in the notes down below. We'll see you next time.